Hi guys, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Hi Jorge, hi Susana, how you doing? Tatiana, good evening. Ariella, hello. How are you doing guys? Hi Guadalupe, good evening. Uh, Mario, thank you for joining. How are you guys? Hi Diana. Good, good evening you? teacher. Hi, hi, good, hi evening. good evening. How are you guys? How you doing? Is everything okay? Everything good? All good, all good. Are you ready to finish the week? Almost. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, but the good thing is that most of you uh, rest, right? On Saturday and Sunday. So I think it's it's quite amazing. Uh, no, no, I mean, you have to work. You gotta work both yeah. days? Yeah, both. Uh, because uh, yesterday and today was my uh, half duty day, so ah, okay. I have to work on the weekend, all the weekend. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah. So it was your day off? Yeah, today and yesterday. Ah, yesterday. okay, today, yesterday. Ah, okay. So it means that you start working from Friday to um, Tuesday. Um, to Monday. Um, ah, Tuesday, to Monday. Yeah, Tuesdays probably I will after the again, then until uh, Wednesday to Fridays. Ah, okay. Are you used to uh, working in that schedule? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, since I come to work there, I that's my my schedule. So ah, about okay. uh, the twenty twenty one. I was working only from Tuesday to Sunday all the year. Also, this this year, so a few months ago, mm -hmm. we changed the the, the, the schedule. schedule again. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Don't you miss having the weekends off? Uh no, because uh, actually, I <laughs> as I mentioned, I, I passed one year and a half uh, working only weekend and actually I like that because I mm -hmm. was uh, alone in the office. <laughs> oh, okay. Wow, <laughs> that's so boring. No, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing because you're the boss and you <laughs> you have to, to do all the things, but uh, you are the... Uh, the one that did decide uh, when to do it, if you want to do it now, uh, you do it, and then you will have all the day to uh, maybe study, mm -hmm. but not study, maybe doing anything. Mm -hmm. I like, like, it. I like, like it. you have all the freedom you need. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I like to be uh, during the weekend in the office because as I mentioned, it's, I'm alone. Uh, but when it's a lot of work, uh, it's hard because you are the only one that have to do everything. Mm -hmm, that's right. If you have like an emergency with uh, like a shipping or something, so it it's goes to you, right? Yeah. But, but I'm glad, I'm glad you're used to it um because i mean giving up your weekends is not an easy thing but okay cool but do you live close to your work yeah um 20 minutes 25 minutes oh, okay so kind of kind of close okay sounds amazing that's really really cool i thought that most of you uh rested um let me see i think i saw somebody else joining uh no okay Okay, okay. Already, guys. So, um, Ariela, are you doing better with your flu? <laughs> are you feeling better? Teacher, yes, but I keep taking the pills because I feel like symptoms of a flu. Ah, okay. Yes. So I I keep I keep drinking that. Oh, okay. But you mentioned. El mm -hmm. coctelazo. <laughs> yeah, because you gotta take like five, right? So, yes. are you taking the one that the government sends? 
Yes, the, the vitamin. Ah, okay, vitamin C, <laughs> vitamin D, and a lot of things. Is it helping you? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> but I are you feeling better? Know. Yes. Yes, it, it feels different. Ah, okay. Okay, so that is what matters. Okay. Yeah. yeah. What about you? You sound like me five <laughs> days ago. Yeah, actually, I started yesterday, so my voice got hurt. But I think it's just allergies, or probably I have been speaking a lot. And so obviously, uh, our voice yeah. is our um, way to communicate, right? So mm -hmm. I think it's because of that. I have put a lot of effort in my voice. But I really hope it's not COVID. And I, I just want to keep positive. I want to be positive <laughs> that it is just a flu, a super, super uh, strong bacteria or virus, the one I got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, but anyways, that happens sometimes. All right, so. Um, I guess it's yeah? normal in those days. Those days? I guess it's normal in, in these days. Uh, oh, uh, and flu. Uh, there is a, yeah, there is a, mm -hmm. two, a few people, two persons that actually are afraid because but they have COVID the most. Oh, yes. And... I comment some sorry, I feel a little bit bad, but I I saw that was because the uh, air conditioning in the the night uh -huh. is affecting my my throat. So, uh -huh. uh, but um, during the week, actually yesterday, I I I drink something to the. Uh, to do some the, pills. Yeah, and not pills. It's a uh, bit of it, but it's. Oh. Mm -hmm. And when I actually when the classes was ending, I was almost up. Mm, okay. Oh, so it helps. Um, so it makes effect really fast. Um, I'm not a pill girl. I gotta say, I really hate taking pills. So I'm more into teas, you know, traditional stuff. So. I have been drinking a lot of lemon and hopefully it will do the trick. <laughs> so, but yeah, so sorry if I, if my voice sounds kind of deep, right? I always say like, I sound like I have eaten some bubbles because <laughs> we get kind of like with a deep voice and everything. Uh, Nelson, good evening. Thank you for joining. Uh, great to see you there. Uh, mm -mm, let me see what I look at there. Juan Carlos, hi Juan Carlos, hi Olga, good evening. Good evening, good evening, teacher. Thank you for joining, guys. How you doing? Hi Wendy, good evening, Mr. Palma, good evening. Are you doing better, Juan Carlos? I'm better, teacher. Good evening. Already. Teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you guys? How are you, George? Everything good? Everything okay? Pretty good. It's almost time to return to my home. Uh, are you like going back today? No, tomorrow. But oh, okay. Do you miss it or are you used to? Are you used to? Where are you in San Miguel or Morazan? San Miguel. I have, I have been five years. Almost five in years. San Miguel. Yes. Oh, it was. I thought that it was only for a short period of time that you need to go back and forth. Oh, no, this because it's a project, but we are in the, in the ending part. Mm, okay, are you working in El Chaparral? No, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, okay, yeah. So the thing is that one of my friends posted a video. And, uh, and it was one of those dikes, you know, I was like, hey, are you in, in, where are you? And he was like, oh, I'm working for El Chaparral. And suddenly I, re um, I remember, oh, I, I remember that uh, Jorge mentioned he was uh, an, an architect, but I didn't know if it was where you were. So, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting. So a lot of people, uh, I guess, do the same thing, right? So they moved to San Miguel for work. Actually, there are many, many people I think it's around a thousand, maybe. Wow, that's a lot. Yes, it's a lot. Okay. It's a lot of people. All right. Oh, but, but it's just fine. Um, so uh, the project, like, I guess, um, 
they absorb all the costing for the staging, like uh, yes, hotels and everything? Yes, we have all the facilities. Oh. Here. Uh, the, the the transportation ah, okay. the, the house to live the even the the food we have some, some discount in the in the in the cafeteria the yes oh for a thousand people uh no for a thousand just for the employees of cell ah okay oh okay okay wow but it, yeah it sounds like a really big project and then chapara was like wow i heard about a chapara like 10 years ago so <laughs> i thought that they were not building it anymore so anyways all right um okay guys so let's get started today with part of the activities we got um, we are missing just two more sessions, tomorrow session, Monday session. So we're going to try to practice today um, some connectors, right? The ones we started yesterday and a little bit about some theories for the, um, motivation. So guys, um, getting started here, we have this um, question, right? And it says right there, so homeschooling. Guys, do you have an idea what homeschooling is? Do you know the meaning of homeschooling? When you live in the high school or in the school? Mm, 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 no. Kind of, but, but the opposite, the opposite. It's so like, like the home office. Mm, kind of, uh-huh. It's like exactly. being in school at home. Mm -hmm, exactly. So the opposite mm -hmm. of being in a school Homeschooling is like you are at home, you have your private teacher, right? And uh, it's just for you. So take a look at this statement, guys, and give us your opinion what you think about it. It says homeschooling is better than regular schooling. Guys, what do you think? I guess uh, in El Salvador, homeschooling is not very common unless you have a lot of money, right? Uh, to pay for a uh, private tuition. So guys, what do you think about this one? Homeschooling is better than regular schooling. Do you agree or do you disagree with that? I mean, disagree with that. Me too. And why? R remember the movies, guys. So I don't remember. Wait, me before you, I guess it was kind of like that. So. What? Because, uh, why? Because in the regular schooling, uh, you get the opportunity to uh, go out of your home and know a lot of people and do other things. Okay, okay. Yeah, in home schooling, you cannot do some activities already. Guys, um, what about the rest? Do you agree? I guess it's the, the, the only thing that I maybe I not uh, agree with uh, the homeschooling is because uh, as a child, we need to learn how to socialize. Uh, socialize? Socialize with, uh, with another person. Because uh, my my little daughter, uh, before when then she went to the school, she was a little bit, uh, she doesn't- Shy? Doesn't like, yeah, maybe not shy, maybe, but she doesn't like to- uh, Interact. Play with another, yeah, to play with another kid. Mm -hmm. But when she commands to, to go to the school that actually was when, when she was two years old, mm -hmm. uh, she commenced to uh, speak with uh, another uh, kids and speak mm -hmm. to another person. Even when she was walking to the uh, going to the school, mm, she commenced okay. to 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 say hey, bye, hey, hello to to the to the people, and oh, and then okay. she asked why she's uh, or, or, or why the person is. Is speaking with me, 
Mm-hmm. And I told her, because you are telling bye. So mm-hmm. they answered. And she commenced to, to learn how to communicate, how to play. I guess that's the only thing uh, that it's good, the mm-hmm. normal school, than the, the homeschooling. Oh, OK. So, so socialization, the fact that they can socialize with people. Mm-hmm. Yes. Interesting. OK. OK. Guys, anybody else? What about education? Sure. Uh, yeah. About, uh, Homes, homeschooling. Uh, mm-hmm. What is it? Uh, what the is meaning? Uh, no, homeschooling. How se pronuncia? Ah, that one, homeschooling. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. Uh, with this statement, uh, I am disagree. Uh, Why do you disagree? Uh, because. Uh, I consider the learning of my, my daughter when, when uh, the government uh, stopped the, uh, what do you say, uh, ah, physical class. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I remember uh, she, she said, hey, daddy, uh, I'm going to have the class at morning. So uh-huh. uh, suddenly, uh, one, two hours uh, be, uh, after, uh-huh. uh, I, I hear a, a, a noise uh, and oh, he, he, who is, is walking in the, in the bedroom of, uh-huh. of her. And when I, when I upstairs and, and here, I was, uh, I, I I see. So that Your daughter. She was walking. She was walking in the in the bedroom, and I say, "Hey, what happened?" No. Ah, so she was not in classes. Yes, she was. She was in classes because she she told me, "Hey, daddy, I, I am bored. <laughs> this type of this type of classes is is not not common in our country." Like, yeah but but it was necessary mm-hmm. for the for the specific time mm-hmm. you know uh, okay. and and i i and according to the 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 learning yes teacher is a she learned a little teacher a little bit mm-hmm. because uh, i have heard a lot of comments like that like um especially with children that for yes. children learning was more difficult. Um, and now that you mentioned with your daughter, so probably, right? There yes. must be something in there. Uh, mm-hmm. She was, a, a, she have a, a, a online class. She has, she has, but is it, not the same. Mm-hmm. As a physical class. Yes, yes. Yeah, um, it's never the same, okay. okay. That's a really interesting example, the one that you shared. Uh, and and even you know I'm like uh, impressed that your daughter said that like she said it was not un- it was uncommon to have this kind of classes. Okay, uh, guys, anybody else? Okay, no more. <laughs> Okay, guys, amazing. So um, there is just a, a little something, and sorry to bring it here. Uh, pero, um, guys, vamos a trabajar un poquito con un par de expresiones que se nos han fossilizado. And I have heard them a couple of days ago, and I haven't, you know, um, mentioned or commented on any of them. One of the most common is with the verb agree, with the verb disagree. And uh, um, so, Guys, remember that we never change or we never um, put two verbs together. So I can say, I agree, right? As a verb, I can say, I disagree. So I say in desacuerdo. Or you can use verb to be. I mean, it's totally fine. But if we say, I am, I'm going to say, I am in agreement. So I am in agreement. I am in disagreement, right? So um, yes, FYI, um, in, para que no se nos fossilice, guys, because 
una vez se nos pega una expresión, you know, it's really hard to get rid of it. Um, so, what was the word? Um, I had, yo tengo una palabra que se me fosilizó. We call it fossilized. Cuando se nos pegan, es bien difícil quitársela, you know. And one of the most common, de hecho, son estas. So, I agree, guys. Mm -hmm. I, I learned this, uh, this word or this phrase. Mm -hmm. I agree because I remember in the module one, in uh -huh. the, uh, the, the first module I had in the manual student, I, I remember I saw this uh, where in, in one of the content uh, in the module one. Yes, I am agree. Uh, Yes, this oh. I agree. Yes, teacher. I I, I had the, the, the manual. <laughs> yes, because we are going to we are going to complain with this for Yes, you know? that, that's why. That's why uh -huh. uh, uh, when you when you say uh, the work the chorus board or the chorus for is mm -hmm. I am in agreement. Mm -hmm. it's new, but I I don't I I, I didn't remember. The, the complete code. I'm trying to, to... Mm -hmm. yeah actually mm -hmm. we are going to practice this um so quick so we can get um the, the common idea yes guys the apologies probably the manuals tienen un poco de, de, de typos the mistakes yes. you know yeah but uh, no, no lo mezclamos right so for yes. example si yo digo yo trabajo mm -hmm. I work en I el, don't en work el nivel básico mm -hmm. en el uno ahí lo vi ya lo voy a buscar, I'm going to check it because I'm teaching module one. <laughs> Para que no se nos fosilice. Yeah, but yes. no worries. Es bien común, it's super, super common um, that we confuse them. Quizás porque en español digo yo estoy de acuerdo. So I am agree. It gives us the idea, right? But that is the one. The correct Sorry, is guys. I am in agreement. Uh, ambas. You can use I agree, I disagree, I am in agreement, I am in disagreement. So, las cuatro están bien. Four of them are okay. Um, just for you to, to remember them. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I agree, I disagree. And uh, um, mm, 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 mm. there was another one. I forgot it. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to remember. There was another word that I heard some days ago, and I was like, oh, I'm going to mention, I'm going to mention. Entonces, I forgot it. <laughs> los cuatro están correctos. Mm -hmm. The four are correct. Yes. Lo que no podemos decir es I am agree. So, ah, es, esta okay. expresión. Ah, no, uh -huh. no, no. Solo así lo hay ellos sin el am. Ah, ok. Pero si yo, <risa> primero, que ahí estaba. Ok, I agree. Bueno, yo nunca he dicho I am, sino que siempre. Mm. Mm, I, I don't remember. So, no, I, I heard it uh -huh, some days oh, ago okay. and, and I, was, okay. I, I was bringing this up. Mm. Yes, yeah, so just FYI, guys. Okay, guys, so vamos a revisar un poquito de um, a couple of things here. And uh, tenemos, we have like some material in your manual. Sorry, give me a moment. Should be there. Okay, there we go. So in your material, guys, or in your manual, uh, we are going to move a little bit to I'm sorry, I feel like it's an easy. Okay, um, so we're going to work, guys, a little bit uh, with your vocabulary here. And we have this kind of, we don't have Ghana to write, right? So we have intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Um, we have been talking about motivation, motivation, things that motivate us. Um, and here we have intrinsic, extrinsic. Guys, have you heard about this? Have you heard about intrinsic and extrinsic motivation? Like in Spanish, intrinsico and extrinsico, have you heard about it? Never. <laughs> okay, uh, anybody? In, intrinsico? Mm -hmm. eh, es como como que está en implícito o dentro de algo. Ok, ok. El intrínseco okay. es como que se está fuera, uh -huh. como que se sale del contexto. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect, exactly. Ahora en inglés, bueno. In other mo model. 
Entonces, no, you, you can do it, you can do it. No, but exactly, exactly, Wendy. So intrinsic is, or intrinsic rewards and extrinsic rewards. Sometimes the motivation is not a payment. Sometimes it is not a better salary. It is not recognition. It is not promotion. So it's because you want to feel okay, uh, because you want to help, you want to feel important. So that one is called intrinsic motivation, something that makes you feel good and it doesn't depend on anybody. Extrinsic motivation, those are the ones that make you feel good, but your boss does it, your manager does it, something that your company does for you. Pretty much that is the definition between both of them. Um, and here we are talking about incentives. It says classify the incentives into the correct category, intrinsic or extrinsic. Um, so what do you have? For example, we have meaningful work, bonuses, health insurance, like Seguro Social, healthy relationships, vacation, promotion, progress and training, praise and feedback. Praise is that your boss says, oh, you are a really good employee and you are going to be on the board of the employee of the month. Uh, participation or decision making that your company gives you the opportunity to make decisions too, and recognition and fun. Uh, from the incentives right here, which are intrinsic, which depends upon you. And extrinsic, what are some of the incentives that your boss needs to do or to give you in order for you to feel okay? So guys, I'll give you some minutes so you can complete them. Uh, uh, teacher, uh, I'm sorry, Jorge, you were breaking. Uh, can you say that again? I think uh, I say if, if you do something because I can, I can see the, uh, the Yes, picture. your screen is still in homeschooling. Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. Sorry guys about that. Okay, can you see that now? Yes. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry about that. This is page number 34. So this is and your material, right? Okay, so we have all of these incentives. We have the two columns here, intrinsic, extrinsic. For example, meaningful work. What do you think this is, intrinsic or extrinsic? Um, because you feel good with yourself because you say, oh, I did it or because uh, your boss says, ah, oh, you did an amazing job, you helped people, you did something important for communities. So intrinsic or extrinsic? Guys, I'll give you like five minutes so we can just put them into the correct category here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, five minutes, guys. Teacher, excuse me. Uh, could you repeat, please, uh, the intrinsic rewards? Mm -hmm. Okay, intrinsic rewards. Mm, for example, um, intrinsic refers to yourself. So all the activities that they don't depend on anybody else. If you remember last time, we were talking about motivation. Mm -hmm. And I remember Mr. Pa Mr. Palmala, you said, um, it is not about the money. It is not about a better salary. It mm -hmm. is because I feel good and I do my best. That mm -hmm. one is intrinsic motivation. Okay. That you say, I can have a really bad salary because salary is not like my biggest motivation. My mm -hmm. motivation is to feel good, to feel okay with myself. So that is intrinsic, okay. yourself. Yes. And extrinsic are external factors. Okay. Like your boss gives you money, your boss gives you a promotion or the, ah, or the people who work and their metas and their goals, when you reach the goal, you get a bonus, for example. Yes. So that is external. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank Intrinsic you. Or extrinsic.
Uh, guys, did you complete it? Do you have it? Or not yet? No. Okay, no worries. I'll give you some more time.
One more minute, guys. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. Um, so from these ones, what do you have as intrinsic motivation? Oh, int intrinsic, something that comes from yourself. Uh, I, I, I have healthy relationships. Okay, so healthy relationships. What else, guys? What else is intrinsic? In intrinsic teacher, I have I have a participation, decision making. Mm -hmm. So participation or decision making. Okay. Progress and training. Progress and training. All right. Also recognition and fun. Mm, okay, recognition and fun can be actually both because recognition is more extrinsic and fun is more intrinsic. So yeah, we can say that it's kind of both. All right, so it means that we have as extrinsic, mean, a meaningful word, guys. Is that intrinsic or extrinsic? Also meaningful work is intrinsic. Mm, intrinsic, it's right? Intrinsic. Mm -hmm. Just well, because it it's, you feel, uh-huh. It depends yourself. If you uh, can, uh, if you have a um, and a good uh, context about your work, uh, I think, for example, I can uh, can I I say uh, or oh, talk well about my 
my company, for example. Uh, mm -hmm. it, it can be uh, a co-worker, uh, they, or oh, he uh, doesn't, doesn't have, doesn't have uh, the, 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 the same uh, thinking about the about of of position or or area of work okay okay yeah and actually imagine that you are um, a, a firefighter mm -hmm. or imagine you are a police officer um maybe the salary is not amazing or if you are a doctor so doctors in El Salvador, how much does a doctor earn in El Salvador, guys? 800, 900? Depends. <laughs> Do you have any idea? No, not a surgeon, but like a general doctor, a physician. Um, uh, maybe 800. Maybe 800, right? Because they don't earn a lot. But what is the difference uh, and why there are a lot of doctors? Maybe they don't receive extrinsic rewards, but that is meaningful work because they know they are doing something important. They know they are saving lives. So maybe you don't have a, an amazing salary, but one of the incentives, one of the, the rewards to go every day to work is the fact that you know that you're making a change. So that is pretty much meaningful work, right? Guys, is your work meaningful? I know. Kind of. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, so maybe the salary is not good, but you say, oh, I do it because I know that I'm making a change here. Okay. And then we have extrinsic motivation, bonuses, health insurance, vacation, promotion, praise and feedback. Um, what else? What else do you receive in your company? Well, Jorge mentioned before que les dan uh, descuento, so they get discounts for food y el yeah. hotel, right? They have the stay. Yes, also we have bonuses. Ah, okay. Uh, health, life insurance. Health insurance. Life insurance, mm -hmm. health insurance. Uh -huh. Some companies, de hecho, ofrecen para el carro. Guys, uh, that's your company. Ah, oh, you have car insurance. Yes. They had uh, a discount about around 50%. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Okay. So those are like extra things, right? Anything else that your, does your company offer anything else? In my case, probably extrinsic can be that I can work from my house so I can do home office. <laughs> that is one of the biggest um you know, motivators or incentives I can get. Uh, what about you guys? Anything else? Uh, there are other teachers. Mm -hmm. They pay 45% of their bill of the light. Are you serious? The electricity, your electricity bill. Yes. Oh, 45%. Yes, because we oh. generate electricity. Electricity. Oh, Jorge, my friend, can you pay my bill? <laughs> wow, 45% like discount for sale. Like to work and sell. Yeah. Wow, <laughs> they have a, I mean, you have. Actually, but, but, uh, George is my yeah, friend. <laughs> but, George. You um are you part of sales? Are you part of the staff, or you were just in projects? Um, uh, actually, this year I, I'm, I'm be part of the, the staff. Ah, you are. A, oh, nice. I, I, I was by, by project. So you were a freelancer. Um, we call them freelancer, right? So you can work for different companies. So freelancer. 
So you were a freelancer and now you are part of, of sales. Wow, amazing. Do you have more benefits? Yes, there are there are a lot of benefits. Mm -hmm. Like the classes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can enroll in classes with the support. Okay. Wow. But I'm like, oh my God. So you receive 50%, no, 45% off in your electricity bill. Okay, nice. Guys, what about the rest of you? So do you have any extra incentive at work? Nothing, guys. Nelson, what are the benefits in your workplace? Uh, what are the incentives? Wendy, Claudia, do you have any incentive extra thing at work? Elena? In my case, uh -huh. uh, incentive, um, more money in the finish of month. Um, in so you in, get a bonus? Yes. Oh, okay. You get a bonus. But, All right. Mm -hmm. Bonus, uh, general, 100, 150, 200. It depends if, if the sales, if the sales in the month. Mm -hmm. Ah, and, okay. And number, number of forms from American form uh, uh, from American visa. Ah, oh, okay. So that is extra money too. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. no, but that's amazing. Okay. That sounds really, really nice. Okay. Anybody else, guys? Do you receive any other benefit? No. Yeah. The Christmas basket. Ah, okay. You get a Christmas basket. Okay. Yes. Um, I have never gotten one, <laughs> but we I receive like a gift card because I have really bad luck. And normally they just a raffle, <laughs> and they put into the raffle, you know, like these Christmas baskets. So I am so unlucky. <laughs> okay. Nice. Do, do you get a big one or a small one? A small one. Yeah, okay. Oh, but something is something, right? <laughs> okay. Does your company yeah. give any, anything else or do you uh, receive any other incentive to work there? In my company, uh, well, in where my company, <laughs> where work my company, uh, give gift card. Ah, gift cards. Mm -hmm. Gift um, cards for what? In beer days, uh, when oh, okay. they do, and to Christmas, too. Ah, okay. So Christmas the, gift card, birthday gift card, okay. And the, and the company where, where I work, uh, we have uh, uh, some benefits, yes. Uh, and uh, in Christmas, they give us a uh, turkey. Ah, okay. They give us a turkey, but the last, the two, the two last years, uh, mm -hmm. we didn't receive any turkey uh, because. <laughs> that was so bad. Uh, no, but it was good because mm -hmm. we received a gift card ah, okay. uh, for um, more money than the turkey. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, yes, because the the pandemic, because. We we didn't have any any Christmas party, so they decided to give us uh, a gift card with uh, more money in order to we buy something for mm -hmm. us and for the family and for our kids. Uh, for some, mm -hmm. for my daughter that it's it's under the twelve years, mm -hmm. they receive a a, a gift. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, in Christmas. And like toys or something. Yeah, uh, if but it's a uh, kind of be more than thirty dollars. So uh, normally I prefer to 
request a gift card and I give mm -hmm. a gift card to my daughter and he decide what he wants to mm -hmm. buy. And on the every few years ago, uh, every everybody that was on birthday, mm -hmm. we buy uh, something to eat and and cake and we and we shared in the in the office. But then they decided to do it only once a month, and only if if there is a some birthday. In case that there is a two or more, we only buy one cake or twenty. Uh, spend around thirty or forty dollars. That's the forty dollars. That for the for the cake. Oh, okay. Is that because of COVID? Has it changed because of COVID? No. No, they changed because the because the money because it was a lot of money so because in some uh, we have two or or three person that <laughs> that mm -hmm. on birthday so it's, it's more money so now they decided to do it only once a month in mm -hmm. case that there is one or two or two. Oh, okay Whatever, yeah. All right. Yeah, because some companies um, out of COVID, you know, uh, they decided to change like the policies, celebrations, meetings and everything. So I thought that it was because of COVID as well. OK, I'm glad to hear that. Wait. OK, guys, so talking about incentives and everything here. I have a couple of questions um, so we can discuss. Um, the first one we have right here says, how important is motivation in your daily activities? Do you think it is important, guys, to be motivated to go to work or to, I don't know, to do exercise or something? What may motivates you to do well on your job or on the study in English? What do you think is the difference between internal and external motivation? And which of the two is more influential to you? Uh, when are you highly motivated? When are you least motivated? Guys, have you ever been like super unmotivated? I remember that in my in my previous job, uh, it consumed, it drained all my energy. So I was like, I got up every day, but I was like, oh, I don't wanna work. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna go. So it was super, super bad. I felt really bad to go to work probably because I didn't like what I was doing. So um, in your cases, guys, when are you the least motivated? So cuando se han sentido como, ah, yo no quiero trabajar, I don't wanna go there. Um, I don't wanna go in the company. Have you ever felt that way? Number seven says, how can you motivate a friend who is facing a difficult situation? And the last one, how did you motivate yourself when you were a student? Guys, no sé si les costó la universidad or high school. Uh, so how did you motivate yourself when you were a student? ¿Cómo se motivaban? ¿Qué se decían? What did you say every day? What did you, um, or were your parents the one who were doing the extrinsic motivation? <laughs> and they yes. push you to like go and study or si no, something bad was going to happen. <laughs> The chanclas motivation. Ah, uh -huh, exactly. I didn't want to say that, but yeah. <laughs> My parents were the motivating. Uh -huh, so what like happened right there, right? Um, so guys, los, <clears throat> give me one second. Los voy a invitar. I'm gonna invite you to go and join this group. Um, para que podamos hablar un poquito, so we can discuss the question. Le voy a compartir la pantalla en el grupo, en, en los grupos. <clears throat> so we can, you know, discuss a little bit. So eh, Raquel, Ariela, Diana, well, Diana is a listener. Uh, Mr. Palma, Mr. Valle, Villeda, Nelson, Tatiana, and Wendy. Quédense acá, guys. Stay here. Eh, I'm going to turn off my mic para que you can discuss them, you can practice, and... If you need any help, I'll be around. So, guys, the questions are all yours. Me llamó la atención de la chancla. So, the chancla power. <laughs> so, what motivated you guys? Uh, we got like 10 minutes. Discuss them, please. 
Oh, guys, los demás podemos ir al grupo. You can go to the group. I'm staying, teacher. We are staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> like the song. Yeah, like the song. All right. Uh, Which one will we we have to discuss? All of them or only the seven? I think it's all of them. Yes, all of them. Bye. So, how important is your motivation in your daily activities? All right. Uh, you might... Yeah, yes, okay. Mr. Bayer. There, there. Go. No, no, go, go. Okay. Go ahead. Thank you. Uh, the, the first one I consider how important is motivation. Of, of, for sure, for just, I think uh, I, 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 I don't do anything if I don't motivate it. Uh, every, every day I, I get up motivated for the first day, for the, for my family, for my, uh, responsibilities uh, and after that uh, for my job uh, remember uh, every single day uh, you uh, for example I in my in my work uh, I I know the duties of the next day and when I uh, when I get up, uh, I, I, I remember. Oh, today I, I need to do this, that, those, uh, and this, and the others, uh, duties, uh, activities. Uh, oh, for sure, I, I, uh, they are the, my motivation every, every day, and. The other, then external, of course, uh, my uh, my wife, my daughter, uh, to see my co-worker. Uh, for 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 example, right? That's a good example. When you when you grow up and became an adult you you need to be motivated because yes. the life and the responsibilities are really heavy and you need to be motivated you yourself right uh, Wendy uh, Nelson? Sorry. Hello. Sorry. Hello, Nelson. Hello. Un important is a motivation. Yes, yes, la primera. Sorry. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, for me, I mean, it's important. It's important in the motivation in the in the daily activity. And for example, in the activity the 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 hall, uh, motivation in. in Uh, and in in the in conversation in conversation in the the uh, with with manager or
All right, thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Uh, who want to share? About the, the first or the second uh, question? First or second, I don't know. You decide. Mm, I think um, the one objective that motivates me is okay. to to have a good life and help my parents to have a, a good life for the rest of, of their life. Okay. <laughs> Very good. This is an important point. Yes. What about you? Uh, about the one or the second one? Mm, um, the second. Okay, the second, yeah. Uh, what motivates you to do well on your job or studying English? I remember um, I have a, a friend and uh, one years ago he was working in the in the same company we both uh, work we uh, both uh, we are we was working in the in the same company but uh, actually he he doesn't work mm -hmm. in the company <clears throat> but, uh, he he called me uh, by telephone and and we are uh, we we uh, wow. we was uh, talking by telephone and they and he asked me hey hey manuel what about your english are you studying uh, right now? And then I, I, I said, I tell, yes. I told, I told, I told him, yes. And and he he told me, hey, congratulations! I'm glad to hear that. Oh, thank you. For for me, this is a big motivation. Big motivation because he he told me when you learn uh, 80 90 percent please call me and I I'm going to to do uh, something something for you you uh, you uh, have a, you you have a, a better work and for me it's a uh, it's a big uh, motivation uh, about studying, but uh, in my job, uh, for sure, uh, uh, the recognition, the recognition of my bosses, for sure, but, uh, about my my work, I. I do my best uh, effort to do in the in the best in the best way. Um, also work uh, work hard and making uh, the difference. That's all. <laughs> what about all the rest? Uh, for me, the, the number one uh, okay. is important in my TV show because okay. uh, something when you have something that motivates you, uh, that makes easier to do all the activities. Yes. And the what uh, the, what motivates me is uh, in in my job. Uh, is, uh, for example, is uh, maybe not trying to to get 
the good word from my bosses because I know that even if I do my job pretty good, okay. it doesn't matter. They, oh, they will sorry not to hear uh, that. see but uh, it's that you common. are doing your best. Yeah, your, your yeah, best sport. I understand so you. I only uh, try to do my best sport only yes. because uh, I, I, I like what uh, what I do. I like my job. And intrinsic, I like intrinsic reward. Yeah, I try to do the best only for me, for for know that the thing that I am doing on, or the thing that I do uh, are correct, I go, are, are good. And I don't receive any, I don't like to receive any, I don't know, complaint with, uh, from them. So I like to do all my best efforts. And what motivates me to study English actually uh in my job okay i need uh actually the english i oh actually i i, I have yeah, sorry uh, yeah uh, but uh not i'm not doing only for my job i only do it because uh i only want to to improve i only want to improve uh only in case that someday uh i found i find something uh something else or, or another job to do and maybe i going to need uh a higher level of no. english uh, so I, I prefer to actually i regret not to do it before because i've been 10 years in the same company uh, for sure I, I i i i could do it before but i didn't do it because I don't know why, because I I never was interested in it. Okay. Maybe maybe I was interested in, in improving, but I had some difficulties to study. Yes. But now with this program, I have the 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 opportunity to to do it. So yes. I I decided to to take it. Then. Okay. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Very nice. What about of rest? Wendy Maribel Zabaleta. Hi, <laughs> Jim. Hi, Jim, in this moment, please. <laughs> I know. Which sleep, one? I sleep. I sleep and dream. I... Okay. How important okay. is motivator, motivation in your daily activity? Um, uh, if if important the motivation or what is the, the question? <laughs> yes, yes. Ah. Important for you the motivation. Ah. How important is um, that motivation in your daily activity? Um, uh, in my case, in my case, my motivation uh, is uh, is my my work, my customers, and I I make I make uh, my work well and. And the customer, uh, for example, I I I work in a travel agency. Okay, it's important uh, uh, the flight punctual, uh, the flight, uh, the customer travel in this in this day. Uh, the customer doesn't problem doesn't doesn't no, haven't haven't problems in in their travel in their itinerary uh, with with their bags for example okay 
This is the yes. this is your your motivation. My motivation of, is is one is, of your is motivations. Yeah. One is your motivation. Yeah, my my, my pay your or job, okay? my salary. <laughs> this is in the second one. What motivates you to do well? You to do well, well in your yeah. job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my right. boss, my boss, congratulates me. Oh, I'm studying English. In study English. Yes. What is your motivation? My motivation. Um, my really motivation is is I will. Um, I will translate a uh, uh, missionaries, oh, okay. missionaries of my church. Yes, it's my really. Would you like to? Uh, would you like to be um, uh, uh, to be in missions? Yes. Okay. Very my cool. my church. That is important too. Yes, in my in my church, my church, translate translate at more a more persons person. Um, Move to other. Yes. Other country. Yes. Okay. Uh, for in general, uh, United States. Ah, okay. For American. Yeah, uh, okay. Missions. Yeah. Very good. Yes. This is a, this is important also. Yeah. Uh, in, in my work, in my work. Okay. Uh, I I don't I don't use translate <laughs> translate or American visa uh, forms. Understand more. Oh, in my work. Okay. It's other, other. You can see that. You can see that you, you, you can use the uh, a second language uh, in your job. Yes. Okay. Very yes. good. Right. Right more. I think. Uh, uh, I guess the English now nowadays is. Necessary in many companies. Yes, in my in my company is very important, okay. and I I know uh, work for my system all English. Oh, okay, very good. All in English. Okay, thank you, thank you for sure. Uh, this question is for everybody when are you highly motivated when are you less motivated when are you highly motivated and when are you I, less motivated for everybody um i'm highly motivated when i just eat when you eat, eat my food. <laughs> okay, this that is the best part of the day. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Hello, you feel oh, happy yeah. with energies. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm always thinking about food. carretonero. <laughs> <laughs> you work like a uh, uh, I don't know. You work like uh, like illness. I, I don't know. And uh, eat like a healthy person. <laughs> yes. Okay. Me I'm too. definitely Me too. Feel I agree. high motivated when I eat my <laughs> breakfast. If when I, I don't eat, I cannot exist. <laughs> All right. Uh, for me, uh, I I try I try to to be 
always a, a positive mind and to have a, a good relationship when, uh, with everybody. It depends of, of uh, when each one of my co-workers, co -worker. but I, I try to, <laughs> to, uh, to take the, the party in peace, peace and love. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. But I try, so you try to have like healthy relationships with everybody. Yes. No, that is amazing because um that keeps your environment better, right? Um, yes. Already. Hey, Gary. Hey. <laughs> this is the first time I see you. Me. <laughs> Let me just turn off the camera. <laughs> In last time, I think we were talking about it that um, you mentioned you were super skinny, so we didn't know. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> Ariel, Ariela, Ariela uh, said uh, you need to guess. I it's it because I'm always like super messy because I work from home, so sometimes yeah. I don't even know. Oh. You're doing home office. Yes. Yes. But what do you do, Ariela? Um, I sell tech stuff like software, inteligencia oh. artificial, marketing. Wow, amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and the and the marketing here. <laughs> aquí estamos, aquí yo, yo les ayudo. So, like brazos mecánicos and all those things, like for companies. Robots también. Ah, okay. So do you import or do you sell? No, nosotros creamos. Oh, you made them mm -hmm. here in El Salvador. Yes. Oh, okay. Do you study something related to robotics? No, yo soy administradora de empresas. Ah, okay. Wow, okay. That's my, amazing. My boss is the is the genius. Your boss, yeah. I mean, just to create like compute because yes. I believe they are like computerized, right? Yes, um, she's so, so smart. Wow. So you go to, do you sell just to some companies or do you sell, what is the normal product that you sell? Mm, normalmente acá en el país vendemos el desarrollo de software, también hacemos aplicaciones, ah, este, okay. vendemos chatbots para sus e-commerce, oh. eh, le vendemos la inteligencia artificial al medio ambiente, creo que al Ministerio de Medio Ambiente creo que le vendimos un una inteligencia artificial que mide temperatura, que cuando llueve, oh. cuando no llueve, si va a caer granizo, cosas así. And you create it, so you have people who create that, that kind of things. Wow, yeah. definitely, they are genius. <laughs> oh. Thank you, I'm just selling. <laughs> no, I mean, but that is amazing because I thought that um, this kind of technology or this kind of software um, was uh, still imported. Like everything yeah. was imported from other countries. It is nice to hear so that we have talent. Uh -huh. Are they Salvadorian? Are the people who create this Salvadorian? Is your boss Salvadorian? Yes, he is. Wow. He is Super. a 20, 28 years old genius. Wow, but he must be a genius, definitely. So yes, to do is. all these kind of things, amazing. Definitely. Oh, wow, I, I didn't know like the it was created here. So cool, really, really cool. All right, guys. So let's take a look at uh, some of the questions we got right here. And number eight is the one that calls my, my attention the most because I think that everybody struggles, especially in early years, to go to school. So guys, how do you motivate yourself when you were a student? <laughs> Intrinsic or extrinsic motivation? What pushed you mm -hmm. to go to school? Do you oh, have to yeah. learn the poorness, I said? Uh, so you have to learn the? The poorness. <laughs> or the poverty or? You have to learn. 
No, you have to lift. Ah, got it. Okay, really? When you were <laughs> younger, you thought about that? No, but uh, it's kind of the... The, the motivation. That was the motivational quote every day. Yes, because you saw a car and you want a, to have a car and you have to buy things that you don't have in that moment. That was the my motivation. Ah, okay. Like you saw nice shoes and you were like, hey, I yeah. I would like those shoes. Ah, okay. Okay. So a little bit of the reflection. Okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? Did your for parents, me, I don't know, push you to for go to me school? For me, was the, the heritage. Heritage. What do you mean? Uh, because my mom always told me, this is the heritage that I will give you. Uh, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so education. I, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So that that's my motivation. <laughs> wow, the heritage. When you said heritage, um, I just thought about like soap operas and movies that you need to go to school to inherit like money um <laughs> land i was like wow so you inherited money <laughs> no but that was your mom's heritage no that's the, the the only thing that she can or that my parents can uh, inherit give, yeah uh, okay so heritage you guys if you don't know the meaning of heritage or inherit so it's like la herencia right so heritage is herencia and inherit is heredar. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, my mom used to say the same. Like, I don't have money, but uh, education is the only thing I can provide, you know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 uh -huh. Tell us, tell us. No, I guess it's, uh, it's uh, for me, it's, it was a uh, motivation, yes. Uh, but uh, the thing that was uh quite uh real that because actually both of them my parents was mm -hmm. uh two working people mm -hmm. as my, uh, like me i i tried to do my best and mm -hmm. work a lot in order to uh give all the all the best things uh like to, to provide the best um the yeah, best things my, for your family yeah and they do the same so in, in indeed that was the the only uh, a house uh, they 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 give us a house but uh the most uh the most valuable i guess mm -hmm. actually was the the study that they can give us mm, okay okay so a little bit of pushing and a little bit of education <laughs> okay <laughs> I'm still thinking about the heritage. <laughs> okay, uh, guys, what about the chunk of power? Did it work for you? Guys, did you ever or were you ever uh, punished because uh, you didn't want to go to school? Or did your mother, I don't know, did she use the, the chunk like to uh, push you to go to school? Nobody, nobody was like a, like a terrible boy, like a bad boy, bad girl. No. No. No idea. Was. I, oh. I wasn't no. a good student, but uh, anyhow, I, I I went to school. Uh, I remember that when when I was in, on vacation, I was counted the day in order to go again to the school. Are you serious? But, yeah. You liked but, going to school. Nah, but the thing with when I was in the school. I was calling the day you wanted to, to be in vacation. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's super common, I think. Uh -huh, nobody wants to be in this school. <laughs> okay, okay, Teacher, sounds all right. Just uh, when you... In the past, uh, I, was, I was child. Is the is the question? Oh, no. The past. No, the, the question is related to this one. How do you motivate yourself when you were a student? Number eight. Um, actually, or in the past? Mm. The no, that, that, is, that is in past. Past. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
uh, we we was child. We was children. Yes, when you were children. Ah, ah okay. In my case, I um I like no. I did like no. Uh, I didn't like no. I like I no sé, pero me gusta. I like. <laughs> Uh -huh, I liked, okay. I like, yes. I like study and good, good qualification. No, no sé cómo se dice. How do you say? You like to study physical education. Ah, P. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Um, notas, no sé cómo se dice. Notar grades. Notas. Oh, you like to get good grades. Yeah. Okay. I like good, good grades. Yeah, we and use the word grades enjoy, for notas. Enjoy my, my, my uh, grade. You enjoy your studying years. Yeah. Okay. So that that sounds nice, and I'm glad you did. In in the school, in the school, in mm -hmm. high school, in in school, in high school. Because okay. in, in the university, it's stressful. Oh, for me, it's very stressful. I, I was beca, ¿cómo se dice? I study with, ¿cómo se dice beca? That's a scholarship. ¿Cómo? No, a scholarship. A scholarship. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, I so you studied with a scholarship. With a scholarship, okay. In the last, the last year. Mm -hmm. So you had so, a lot of stress to get really good scores. Yes, for mm -hmm. for a, for a good grade in the mm -hmm. university. Okay. Uh, seven in national university is very, mm -hmm. very. It difficult. was very difficult to get. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in the child. I was child enjoy my study. You like the studying. Okay. Nice. I'm super glad you like the studying. Because when we are children, we don't really think about it. Okay, guys. Uh, we're going to just go back um, a little bit to the last four that we were checking yesterday. Que es con el uso de uh, although, even though, in spite of, and creo que Jorge preguntaba, despite of, que también es otra que utilizamos, Y que de hecho es lo mismo um, que in, in a spider. So we're going to try to put these ideas together um, using any of these expressions. Solo recordemos, guys, que although and even though son lo mismo, in a spider es lo mismo, pero se usa diferente. Because in a spider, no necesito una oración completa. Necesito tal vez solo un verbo. Tal vez solo una actividad, una palabra, but not like, no una oración completa como tal. Um, so guys, take a look at this exercise. We have just although, even though, in spite of, to complete the sentences. I'll give you some minutes, guys, para que lo haga solito, so you can do it on your own, and then we complete it. Uh, for example, if you take a look, number six says, he is a millionaire, he drives a second-hand car. So, decíamos que usamos although, even though, in spite of, para hablar de contrastes. Like, a pesar que esto sucede, you know, esto está pasando. So, we're talking about two different ideas, but we are putting them together. So, five minutes, guys, and let me know, please, when you are ready. Okay.
Let me know when you finish, guys. Teacher, uh, could you could you please explain me about the use of in spite? I remember you said it's not for uh, just the complete sentence. Mm -hmm. But then sure. there exists a minimal structure. Or not? Um, not really. Um, I mean, in terms of meaning, so in spite of, it, in it, mismo, it has the same meaning of although, even though, también el mismo significado de despite of. So, um, in terms of meaning, es lo mismo. Eh, pero cuando hablamos de estructura, one of the characteristics of in spite of is that it is a shorter, um, the structure is shorter because it does not require a subject verb complement. No requiere una oración completa. Um, that is probably one of the characteristics of although and even though que voy a tener, I'm going to have a two full sentences. So in the case of in spite of, es más una preposición. It is considered more a preposition. And that's why a veces no necesitamos like a full idea, a full sentence. Mm -hmm. Pero es lo mismo. It's exactly the same, solo que la estamos usando eh, differently here. So, una forma fácil to identify si vamos a usar although, even though, or in spite of. Well, primero, although and even though se usan igual. 
So, you are fine. Podemos usar cualquiera. Now, in spider, es así. One of the things or one of the clues, the hints, es que no va a haber una oración completa a la parte de in spider. Probablemente, we can, because it's considered a preposition. So, podemos tener un verbo, un ing, podemos tener eh, un noun, una palabra, but no, no hay una minimal structure. Pero eso es lo más común, un verbo o un noun. For example, for example, in the number two, the project started on time and was a success in spite of all the difficulties. Yes, that is correct, exactly. Okay. Exactly, so for number two, uh, I have all the difficulties. No, tengo, I don't have a full sentence, so si puedo utilizar in spite of. In spite of all the difficulties, the project started on time and was a success. Now, ¿por qué no puedo utilizar all do or even do here? Porque all do and even do me piden una oración completa. Y acá no tengo una oración completa. Esta es una y esta es un pedacito de una. No tengo sujeto verbo. Entonces, no se considera oración este pedacito, right? So, that's why. Pero en much esa es la gran diferencia. Que in spite of no requiere dos oraciones completas. Or a full sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, okay. terminaron? Did you finish? I don't know if I confuse you more. <laughs> no, that that's that's clear. But in the, in that case, you can use the the same way. The the project started on time and was a success, although all the difficulties. Mm -mm. No, no se puede. Y we cannot do that. Es, y esa es como la diferencia entre ellos. Although en even though sí se pueden alternar. In spite of no se puede alternar con even though. Let me mention why. Eh, con although, voy a escribir la carrera. So, although, eh, or even though, so ellos requieren gramaticalmente subject verb complement. Luego coma, luego subject, verb, complement. Ellos requieren oraciones completas. Oración 1, oración 2. En cambio, in spite of. So, mm. in spite of. En, en realidad, no. In spite of puede ser un noun, puede ser un verbo. Y solo me va a pedir una oración completa. No. Por eso es que no se pueden alternar. Lo que se alterna son all do, even do. Do or while, el que veíamos ayer. Pero in spite of, no lo podemos alternar. We cannot have it the same way. Okay. Um, look, vamos a practicar también en speaking. So, guys, number one, we have, we are a small company. Ah, okay, so, easy, guys. ¿Cómo sé que voy a utilizar in spite of or all do and even do? Revisan si tienen oraciones completas. Check if you have full sentences. Um, so I got, la primera vez tenemos dos oraciones completas or not? Yes. If you check, mm, tenemos we are, una oración, we said, oración dos. Entonces solo puedo utilizar con ellas, although or even though. Uh, so although we are a small company, even though we are a small company, we sell almost a hundred machines a month. ¿La tenemos algo así? ¿Do you have it like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. teacher. Yes, teacher. Ok, number two, um, Jorge ya nos daba la respuesta. In spite of all the difficulties, the project started on time and was a success. ¿Por qué no voy a alternarlo con el do? Porque no tengo dos oraciones completas. Mm -hmm. No puedo utilizar even do or all do, eh, por eso. A menos que ustedes decidan cambiar la oración, eh, este, este pedacito, y lo hagan una oración completa, sí vamos a poder usarlo. A lo contrario, all the, all the difficulties, mm -mm, no se puede. Eh, me pide oración completa. So that is the difference. Um, number three, guys. What do you have in number three? All the... All the... Mm -hmm. Okay, so, even though, uh -huh. even though, yeah, ambas de hecho, both, right? So even though we were warned against doing so, we went ahead with the project. 
So, or all those who were born against doing so. So, cualquiera de las dos son bastante intercambiables. So, all those, even though. Number four, uh, his lack of experience, he became a successful businessman. What do you have in number four? In spite of. Exactly. Y si se fijan, es bien fácil identificarlas. Because tenemos una oración completa, sujeto, verbo, complemento. Y tenemos esto, que en realidad no es una oración. No tiene sujeto ni tiene verbo. Entonces, cuando veamos esto, ah, ok, no podemos usar oldo. Y cuando lo hablemos, es lo mismo. Necesito oración completa. Oldo, his lack of experience, he became a successful businessman. La número cinco, guys, number five. Cuatro, cuatro. Yes, Ah, ok. The four, what? What word? Number four is in spite of. So in spite of, in spite of his lack of experience. Number five is lo mismo. Again, revisamos oración completa y es. Pero esta no es una oración completa. Being no es un verbo. Porque para que sea verbo necesito que esté junto al verbo to be. I am being, you are being. So esto es lo que vimos el día anterior de gerund, si se recuerdan. So gerundios. Ok. Entonces, no puedo utilizar um, all, don, even, do, porque no es una oración completa. So, ¿qué usamos, guys? What can we use? In spite of. In spite of. In spite of being by far the oldest player, he has scored three goals. Mm -hmm. Okay, number six. What do you have in number six? I don't. Although he's a millionaire, he drives a second hand car. Even though no, he's a millionaire. In spite of, I... No podemos usar in spite acá, no. Porque acá sí tengo dos oraciones. He drives, oración una. He is a millionaire, oración dos. El cinco está bien. Oh, yes, number five, yes. That is in spite of. Yes, yes, yes. Number six is all do. Numbers, I'm sorry, Mr. Palma, tenía a covering, a question. No, teacher. Okay, guys, number seven. Vamos con la siete. It rained a lot. I enjoyed the holiday. Spider. Spider. Mm -hmm. Pero revisemos otra vez. Okay, I enjoy the holiday. Oración uno. It rained, sujeto, verbo. Ah, aquí tengo dos oraciones. Although or mm -hmm. even though. Although. Although it rained a lot, I enjoy the holiday. Not. Even though it rained a lot, I enjoy the holiday. Exactly. So, remember, in spite of, es solo para pedacitos, para proposiciones, no es una oración completa. Number eight, working for the company for six months now, he never seems to know what to do. What do you have in number eight? In spite of. In spite of, exactly, porque acá esto, aunque es largota, this is kind of long, no es una oración. Es solo un, un pedacito de una oración. Uh -huh. So, in spite of working for the company for six months now, he never seems to know what to do. Y de hecho, si se fijan, eh, veíamos um, hace like, un par de sesiones que tenemos a veces el gerundio ING y lo utilizo después de una proposición. So, si ustedes se fijan, tenemos in spite of y después de lo tenemos working. So, también me da la idea que la respuesta correcta es in spite of. También lo mismo acá con la número 5, being. So, comienzo con un gerundio. Y acá, in spite of, después de una preposición, siempre uso gerundios. So, también me, me sirve, right, como una cue, que es la respuesta correcta. Um, guys, I don't know if this is sort of confusing. No, teacher. Do you have any question with really? this? Um, so we are going to practice speaking porque no es lo mismo escribirlo. It is not the same when I write it y todo está súper claro. Al momento de escribirlo es que mi cerebro, you know, se pierde en no haya cómo expresar la idea. So we are going to be using this tomorrow to practice a little bit. Um, guys, solamente eh, antes de irnos, hacerles el... Uh, nuevamente, you know, ya voy a aburrir. Sorry. <laughs> Con la plataforma, guys, eh, me piden que para el día de mañana esté terminado. Eh, so, please, quienes todavía estamos pendientes, que no ha avanzado con la unidad 4, please complete it. La unidad 4 está bastante fácil. 
eh, de esto mismo, de motivation, tienen algunos ejercicios eh, con este tema precisamente de all do while. And, um, so, please intenten avanzar. Try to work on it. Y si tienen dudas, leerlas. No. ¿Alguien tiene algún problema con la plataforma, guys? ¿O hay algún ejercicio que no les esté tomando? Nobody. No. All good. More good. teacher. <laughs> Yes, please. Lo que pasa es que la, como estamos bien cerca de las um, de la finalización de, de todo, you know, Instagram está un poquito estricto. So, guys, les agradezco que avancen con la plataforma, right? Try to work a little with your platform. Uh, no, Igual para que los compañeros no los estén eh, llamando en el almuerzo, you know, like. <laughs> uh, so, that I know is kind of um, unfortunate. Okay, guys, solamente les tomo asistencia. Let me take your attendance. Oh, oh, una pregunta. Solo, y solo tenemos que hacer el, el final exam y that's it. That's todo. Mm, no, la plataforma van tarea por cada una de las clases. Um, ajá, o sea, después, ajá. De pasar, después de pasar las tareas. Oh, lo último las es el las... final. Ok, porque van las tareas, luego hay un midterm exam y luego están otras tareas y luego el final exam. Y eso es todo. Sí, le voy a dar acá un cube porque a veces uno no encuentra, no se recuerda dónde se quedó, en qué ejercicio está. Um, en la plataforma, eh, creería que usted lo va a ver así, es esta barra que dice progreso. So, en esta barra de progreso, cuando usted entra, aquí le marca. En, en el progreso usted puede ver qué tareas hizo y qué tareas no hizo. Acá le va a ir marcando si ya tiene el puntaje, si no lo tiene. Y acá usted mismo se puede ir guiando. Ah, me falta este ejercicio. Es 1, 2, 3. Ah, fue la tarea 3. Entonces se va a buscar la tarea 3, la completa. O se va acá en, directamente en la unidad para que la complete. Acá también le va dando el porcentaje por unidad para que usted se vaya guiando. Y es más fácil. Um, so una vez usted tenga esto completo, eh, le va a aparecer acá una barrita, una barrita roja. Eh, cuando llega hasta el 80, significa que ya tiene una nota de aprobación. Y, cuando, y luego cambia de color a gris y ya topa acá en el 100% o, o el porcentaje que topa. Acá también le marca en el tora. Mm, so, eh, para que revisen, right? si no se recuerdan cómo o a dónde es que eh, se quedaron, uh, what is the exercise, pueden también revisar parte del progreso de eh, so, pero sí ese es el último una vez llegue al final examen esa es ya la última evaluación um, ah ok sí es que ya había ah, como nos dijo la otra vez que que avanzáramos lo más que pudiera entonces lo que, ah. no 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 es en general o sea, lo que pasa es que algunos compañeros no me han completado nada ok se imaginan you know, que crazy va a estar completarlo todo porque pasan Ok, guys, solamente les tomo asistencia super quick para que ya nos vayamos a descansar. Uh, today is Thursday. Ana está por acá. Ariel, tú. Uh, Claudia. Sí, Claudia está acá. Claudia is here. Uh, Cristian. Creo que vi a Cristian there. Uh, yeah, present. Hi, thank you. Jorge. Present. Juan Carlos. Mr. Palma. Ve por ahí el O sea que mañana se cierra la plataforma, según lo que entendí. Um, el día de mañana tenemos como último día, digamos, para completarla. Ah, pero no es que se cierre, sino lo que pasa es que necesitamos entregar los reportes. Uh -huh. Ajá, lo, y los viernes los entregamos. Okay, Nosotros y, terminamos y la... módulo el lunes. Right? Y el, el lunes sería la encuesta. Uh -huh. Exacto, ah, hacemos yo, la encuesta. Hace... No, lo hacemos el lunes porque recuerden que tuvimos el 2 de noviembre, que fue a sueto, entonces por eso. That's why. Um, Mi cero no la vi, didn't see her. Uh, Mr. Villada is there, Nelson too. Norma está por acá. Creo que sí la vi. Silvia, Susana, Diana, Wendy. Ok, guys. Um, sí, I mean, mañana. Eh, 
mañana si, si pueden, guys, terminen todo porque um, de esa forma no les afectamos tampoco la nota en los reportes, right? Gracias, Silvia. Y pero sí, guys, terminamos el día lunes. El día lunes hacemos la encuesta a todos los módulos, right? Um, mm. Alrighty, guys. Thanks, everybody. Gracias por acompañarnos today. Que descansen, guys. Sleep super, super well. So mm. go. Go and sleep. <laughs> Have an amazing night, everybody. See you, see you. Bye. 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 B